inspired work. All right, all right, um, all right. Just want to say a big shout out to Mike for inviting me out and just giving me the invite to be here. I appreciate it. Poetry while intoxicated. Nice. <laughs> too often, too often questions become orphan, motherless, no father figures. I figure somewhere, somewhere there's an answer looking down on me like a bar stool to a drunk man. Deliver. Not quick enough to break down the amount of liquor that mouth delivers. My mama. She says I'm a chip off the old block cause I'm 12 o'clock with my shots. In other words, I like my shit straight up. No chases. <laughs> Two quarter pints more than enough to knock me on my ass and chance. Ask me how I know. How do you know? I drunk two quarter pints and it knocked me on my ass. I passed out, woke up the next day, head banging, hangover, still dressed in yesterday's clothes with liquor stains on my jeans and blood on the seams. And now it seems that the more I ax down my family tree, the more liquor stains I find on my jeans. I guess you could say it's just the blood in my seams. You see, my grandpapa, he had a thing for vodka. And I can see him crystal clear like bottles of Belvedere sitting in his favorite chair, choking the neck on that bottle of Georgie. Old oh, man, always good for a story. He used to say, the only thing that I love more than a stiff drink is a loose bitty with a fat ass and big titties. <laughs> and I say, Grandpa, me too. <laughs> I must have been in my eighth, maybe ninth year of school. He sits me down and pours me my first jewel. He says, I need you to look here. Liquor over beer, have no fear. But beer before liquor make a man earl quicker. <laughs> Learn to be a listener before a talker. And don't let folks price you and label you with colors like they do Johnny Walker. <laughs> you can be a child of the sun, but best respect the moonshine. <laughs> Young blood of mine, I can't tell you nothing about chasing pots of gold at the end of rainbows, but I can tell you how to get to the worm at the bottom of a bottle of Cuervo. <laughs> What I'm trying to say, Joe, is that there's always going to be snakes in the grass. You want the truth from a man's lips? You put some liquor in his ass. <laughs> and your grandmama say I might go to hell for talking like this, but this is the truth, so I'm going to tell you. I'm not saying I found a savior in a bottle of gin. I'm just saying Tangare has a way of untangling my transgressions to the point that now I hold communion with a cup full of cognac confessions. See, there's a few things I've learned in this lifetime. Grown men should never whine over spilled wine. The whole world wants to be rich. Nobody in their right mind wakes up and says, today is just a good day to be poor. I don't care what that man say, you don't take a drink from a man if you ain't see him poor. Now furthermore, you might think this is just the ramble of an alcoholic. I say, let's let time call it. But if there's one thing for sure I know in this lifetime is that too often my questions are becoming orphan, motherless and no father figures. I figure somewhere there's an answer looking down on me. Like a bar stool to this drunk man. Cheers. <laughs>